On the last Primal Pursuit mission, I travel to some remote coastline in New Zealand, chasing the famous yellowtail kingfish. Free diving and spearfishing, hunting these amazing pelagic fish. I encounter the most extraordinary scenes, one of the most fishiest dives in my life. Thousands of birds, thousands of fish, big sharks, you name it, it was full of action. Managing to spear a beautiful yellowtail kingfish and got to encounter scenes which looked like they were from a David Attenborough documentary. Absolutely incredible. In this episode I head out solo once again, this time I'm targeting scallops and crayfish, two of the most sought after delicacies of the ocean. I'm hunting in a harbour full of sharks, green murky water, I have to remain calm and determined, I know I can get a feed of these ocean delicacies, so push on and explore this beautiful part of the world searching for that ocean feast. Stick around for the action. So, hunting for scallops, if we've got time we might go for some crayfish depending on visibility and the tide change we have to be diving on that slack tide which is high tide in about an hour as I'm in a very tidal harbour so gotta be, gotta be careful with the currents as I'm by myself. So, gonna gear up, jump in the water, usually I'd like to dive at low tide obviously for scallops, less water, less effort, bigger breath holds, easier. But it's high tide, shouldn't be too much difference, maybe two meters more, two or three meters. So yeah, we'll gear up, get down there and see if we can uh, get onto some. Start of the season, I am amped for some fresh scallops. So when you're looking for scallops, the flat piece of the shell is facing upwards and you'll just see a little frilly little edge. Sometimes if it's quite silty, powdery sand, you might only just see a little indentation. Depending on the substrate, they can look quite different, but generally you'll see that shape of the shell, that semicircle look. Once you see them, it's over. Just grab and pick them up. It's not like they're putting up a fight. Go for a scouting. Sometimes they'll dive down and almost headbutt them. Other times it takes a bit of searching an area. So if you're in a harbor, they'll be on banks, sandbanks. Um, or in little bays. Current's good. Don't know, they do move around, but I'm confident we'll find a few, so enough jibber jabber, let's get in. The water is green, murky, silty, as predicted, but it's all right. I just need to sink down a few meters to the floor. I follow the anchor rope down, using my arms, always conserving energy if possible. And it doesn't take long. I find my first scallop. Well, it's a bit small this one, but I found one, so I'll stay close to the bed. Let's check it out back. I'm back down on the seafloor, drifting with the current, just cruising along, looking for any white frilly semicircles, any shapes of a scallop. Dive after dive, I managed to get a few each time, slowly getting a feast of scallops. All right. Time to get 
one to go. Oh, well, that was very uh, successful. Got my load of scallops. Some beautiful fish down here. <laughs> had a quick measure up, had to throw a couple back. So I went down, got, got a couple more, but got my 20. So got a, about half an hour before this full tide, slack tide. So I'm gonna nip around up the coast a bit and uh, we'll try and find a crayfish to add to the feast. <laughs> what a day. Look at this. Alright, ink it up. Dive down here and try and find some crates. I brave the green murky waters and jump in, diving straight down. It's amazing to see the different formations underwater, different coastlines around New Zealand, different sea life, plants, fungi. Look at these big sponges covering the rocks here, orange, vibrant purple, reds, amazing colours and I'm starting to see a few crayfish. It's hard work, it's silty, being mixed up from the ground swell coming in, quite surgy, but there's crayfish. I miss a few opportunities, some of these look sizeable but they're not quite big enough to take home crazed out in the open. It's amazing, there's craze everywhere. I'm still hunting for something that looks legal size. These are quite small craze. Down in this murky cave, there's a few red mocky. I'm trying to shake the thought of sharks circling around me at the back of my head. This harbour does hold great white sharks among other species, but just staying focused, hunting craze. Let's spot a nice buck here. Well, it looks to be a bigger size. A quick tussle, it's too small. There's more craze around though. Grabbing this nice crayfish just sitting under this crack. One more just beneath me. Awesome. Finally, I've got two nice crayfish. That's definitely my seagull. <laughs> awesome. Far out, that was cool. They were crazy everywhere. Lots of small ones, but a couple of good bucks uh, mixed in between. I just kept bombing down deeper and deeper. New spot and um, they were everywhere. Got a couple down here, don't need any more. I think that one might be small. I just gotta measure them. These are all definitely four legal ones. Uh, might have to chuck that one back. Oh, there's another one here. 
so yeah we'll have a quick measure up <laughs> and um yeah crays and scallops for lunch so <laughs> right let's check these out we have the big gap that's for females the big gap and the small one for males some nice crays in here that's a male and well legal that's one look to be pretty much all males for some reason second spine and that's inside legal you can already look at this one and tell he's legal easy three I'm allowed six crays in this area this one looks a bit small that one's too small you go back just legal four crays can't complain there were heaps down there could have grabbed a few more I'm allowed six but um that's plenty enough for a feed for me and my housemate so boom let's go have a cook up So we've got our 20 scallops. Yes, time to feast on some beautiful scallops. All right, parked up in this stunning little bay here and it's time to process the scallops. Here's just a couple of the shells here. I'll show you my technique. Everyone's got their own way, but this is a quick, easy method how I get the fish out of the shell. All right, just need a real basic, plain, skinny, flat knife. Any old knife will do. I like to have my fish facing flat down onto my palm, everyone's different, and then bring that knife, run it along that back edge, it cuts that main muscle off, right then we're left with the main ingredients, get rid of this poo sack here, this frilly bit here, as their filter feeders, and all we want left is the muscle and the roe, which is very tasty. And then we have it. Easy. Okay, scallops are shelled. Okay, we have our beautiful scallies. They're not very large, but all got row, all got some color, and uh, always delicious. Now we can get all fancy doing some sort of catch and cook, like a lot of people do with scallops, put them in the shell and all these herbs and all this shit. But seriously, look, everyone who eats scallops on a regular basis knows the best method is just Freshly chopped garlic, butter, seared in the pan, flash fried, and you can't beat that. Maybe a little bit of salt. So let's do that. Don't be shy with the garlic, always good, and don't be shy with the butter. Okay, we've got our live tank holding pot in here. Hmm, which cray do we want? That one looks pretty good. Alright, mate. You're going into the cob with the scallies. Okay, we've got our crayfish cut in half. Bit of garlic on him. A little bit of salt. Okay, cob's on. Let's get some butter on there. We won't muck around. Get these 
Cray's cooking straight away. Get that started. All right, let's check these Cray's. Oh yeah, almost done. Flip those now. And while they are finishing off, we'll whack all our scullies in here. Get some butter in there. Oh yeah. That's all that garlic in there. Woohoo! How good is that look? Okay, I think it's done. Almost. Flip these scallies around a little bit. They don't take long to cook. Pretty much already done. You can eat them raw, which I often do as well. Oh wow. Woo! That's a feast. Got our slices of bread here. A bit more butter. Yes, butter's good. And we'll just do a squeeze of lemon juice. So over everything. Just give it a little bit of a freshness. Oh yum. Okay. That's us. Goes, cray tail. Woohoo! Now that's a sandwich. <laughs> God, I don't know how I'm going to eat this thing. It's a feast. Woo. All right, I'm gonna munch this. Oh yeah, legs are the best part. All the knuckles. Mm. I still rate scallops over cray, but when it's as fresh, it's pretty good. Well guys, I won't um, make you suffer and watch me eat all the rest of the stunning seafood. I'm going to scoff that and it's about time to get out of here, tide's turned, wind's picking up. Wind against tide, it's going to be a bumpy road if I don't get out of here soon. So that's it for another quick Primal Pursuit mission, hope you like that. And um, remember, butter, salt and garlic, you can't go wrong with basically any seafood cooking. Yeah, if there's anything you would like me to do for missions, any ideas, anywhere in the country, New Zealand or overseas, let me know, invite me, whatever, I'm keen for anything, anything new, just love exploring, so you hit me up in the comments below, any ideas, and yeah, I'm just going to keep at it. If you're not subscribed, please click that subscribe button, it really helps me out, I'd really appreciate that. If you want to support the channel, a few links below in the description, you can pick up some merch, like this hat and t-shirt, primalpursuit.co.nz. Other than that, see you on the next mission. Stay safe out there.